Hey groupies, welcome back to Forma Therapy. This is The Culture Study. I'm the channel's video producer. You can call me PD. And today we are checking out Can't You See Me by TXT, aka Tomorrow by Together. Now the Korean title is actually 세계가 불타버린 밤 우린 점점점. Now what that actually translate to, uh, translates to is not Can't You See Me. Uh, that means 세계, 세계 is world and 불타버린 밤 means the night set on fire. And Udin means we slash us, but the Nian in the the uh, actually implies um, uh, some kind of verb. So basically, it's saying uh, the night the world was set on fire, we dot dot dot. So it would be like we the night the world was set on fire, we laughed, we cried, we jumped, we ran. It's implying some kind of motion, but the dot to dot obviously is meant to be more of a mystery. Now, before we get into this video, I actually want to address something real quick. Um, just because I am, I always like to own up to things. I believe that we should own up to things. Uh, first of all, there is like an out of hand uh, kind of, not rumor, but necessarily a comment that was taken out of context. Uh, and now people are definitely putting words in my mouth, um, things I never said. So largely, people are saying that uh, I said that Tomorrow by Together, TXT, did not deserve Rookie of the Year. Now, what I actually said on Twitter was uh, ATs is not going to win Rookie of the Year. Why? Because this shit is rigged. I meant that in a humorous tone, mind you, I realize now, it's not funny, and people didn't find it funny. That's all I said. I did not realize that there was already kind of like a tension between uh, t the 80s and uh, TXT fandom, um, and I only kind of stoked the flames way more by saying that, and it made it sound like I was taking a side, which absolutely... I was not. Um, I don't align myself to any specific fandom. And I really feel bad because I feel like Tomorrow, Tomorrow by Together fans feel like I was discrediting TXT, which I never mentioned them by name. I can see why by proxy I'm saying, oh, this shit is rigged. So that could imply, yes. Anyone who wins, you know, didn't deserve it. But that's not what I was saying. And that was such an offhanded comment. And, you know, I'm just, I'm not good at this. You know, I'm not good at being like a public persona. I am a director. I am meant to be behind the camera. I am a no filter, kind of just speak my mind and my mouth moves faster than my mind type of person. And I realized that, instead of making excuses for myself constantly like that, like that is on me, you know? If I can't fix that, and I can't, I can't rewire my brain to not, like, not not word things improperly, you know? Uh, not kind of take my time and craft my sentences properly. So that's why I ultimately quit Twitter and I hired someone, I pay someone to manage my Twitter because I want to make sure that I don't offend people in that way. And so I, you know, in the same way that like, um, I did that to Victon as well, um, Tomorrow by Together as well. Um, and I just, I feel bad and I just want to apologize. You know, whether you believe me a lot or not, that's completely fine. This is just from the bottom of my heart. You don't have to watch this video. You don't have to support me if you don't want to. That's fine. I just want to address it and I want to make it very clear because there are some people, you know, who are die hard straight up saying, uh, you said these exact words. You know, there was a con there were several comments saying, you said these exact words that TXT does not deserve rookie of the year. That is not what I said. Um, and I specifically said, you know, I never said that. And they're like, no. I know you said that. You specifically said that TXT does not deserve Rookie of the Year. You said those exact words. And I'm like, no, you're not even taking something out of context. You're straight up lying, you know? And I will totally own up to my mistake. I did not mean to discredit 
tomorrow by together they absolutely uh deserve it uh everyone knows i think anyone who is a regular on our channel attends our live stream knows that i have i was obsessed all summer with tomorrow by together's cat and dog they know that i would constantly hum run away my girlfriend can attest to you that i would constantly uh hum run away and they absolutely do deserve their win and i'm so sorry that i offended anyone again you don't have to believe me that's fine but i just wanted to make my stance and everything clear oh my god we are five minutes in i'm so sorry um i wanted to be very clear before we went in um just so you, just so you know because i did not want to make it seem like i was retreating because you know it's one thing if i did something wrong and i feel guilty um and i should just you know stop because i don't believe in it but people some people are just saying things that are not true and ultimately at the at the end of the day i have friends who worked on txt's album i know some of the people who have done that and i would never insult their work like that and i would never insult the boys like that and so yeah i just wanted to make that clear anyways Sorry for the long rambling. Let's just get into this video. This is Can't You See Me by Tomorrow by Together, and this is your form of therapy. So this is continuing off of Runaway. Oh, okay. It's not what I was expecting. What? Oh my god! Whoa. 
So... Not that I ever asked the question, what would it be like if TXT did a edgy concept? The answer is here. Whoa, that is... That was something else. Wow, that was... I can't say this is better than Runaway, but I can't say Runaway is better than this. I think they're too different. Runaway feels way catchier of a title track. This feels a little bit more experimental. And sometimes the experimental stuff, I, you know, I might be like, you know, it's experimental, but it's not as good as the catchy title track. But here's the thing. This experimental track is as good as the previous catchy title track. And I am sort of at a loss. I'm not sure which one I like more. Like, this has so many impact points in the song, you know? All the different effects, like the, like, like when they mask his voice or they filter it or when they isolate the voice and it's just that part when he says, save me, when he says, Cuello, it hits differently. The song hits differently. There's a lot of gravitas and impact and the music video is just so sinister, so visually interesting. So let's watch this again. All right, here we go. So, a couple carrying over themes, you know, um, this storybook element that's always been very um, prevalent in their styles. Wow. Wow. Well, look at that transition. Oh, whoops. And then... So then... Wow, that's a clean cut. Wow. Yeah, they keyed out the door. They That's clean. Yeah, I mean, fire seems to be a very, like, very common theme with uh, Tomorrow By Together. Uh, I wouldn't say in Crown, but with Runaway and then Magic Islands and now Can't You See Me, Fire. I mean, this one is incorporated more heavily into the lyrics, too. Uh, less so the previous time around. But, wow. I mean, Magic Island was already sort of signaling a kind of like a storm coming. And, wow, the storm hit and it is a typhoon. <laughs> What is that? My God. Wow. This is really interesting right here. In this previous scene, in this previous scene, he's singing and they're playing inside. You know, this could have just been a solo member shot, but they have them playing inside. Like a, a lot of the song is about this trust being broken, um, everyone kind of going against each other. And this is also another like very interesting visual way uh, without directly like telling you, but kind of sowing the seeds of distrust, you know? He is literally on the outside looking in, like everyone else is having fun inside playing, but he's not a part of it. Very cool. Now, was that an actual... Let's see. Let's see if... Oh yeah, they stitched these shots together. They stitched them, to, uh, stitched them together to make it look like one continuous shot. So that's a cut right there. So there's two cuts. So it starts right here, starts pulling back. That's one cut. Second cut by the door. And then there's probably a third cut. Yeah, right there. Can't you see me? My body, 
Love how they put that light in there, and it provides like a very cool backlight for them, and this interesting lighting right here. Like all the lights are on in the house, but then they have like a much more powerful light right there in that family window. It's very cool. Makes the scene way more dynamic. Are they literally like snapping their own neck? Is that what that was? Oh my god. Wow. It almost sounds like he's like drowning. Oh my god. Wow, they ruined so many tomatoes there. God, they ruined so many tomatoes there. Obviously, that's meant to look like blood splatter sort of on the wall. Like, it's like absolute chaos. That's such a creepy shot. That's such a creepy shot. Wow, I love it. Especially him with the smiley face while everything's on fire burning. Like, what a visceral shot. And now the house is set on fire internally as well. Like, what a menacing shot. I want to check something out real quick. Let me see. Mm. Okay, no. I, I was wondering if um, for their key light, if they were flickering that to emulate the f um, flickering of the fire in the house, but no, they're not. So he finally lets out his frustration and his friends leave. Wow. I love that part of the song that da -na -na -na. And then the revolving room transition. Oh, I love that. That's smooth. That more and then they slide out oh i like that wow 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 fascinating music video fascinating concept very visceral, very emotional, very engaging. Love it, love it. It's incredible. Uh, can't wait to check out the album. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video with me. Let me know, what did you think of Can't You See Me by Tomorrow by Together? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, also, guys, remember, if you would like to support us, head on over to Patreon, patreon.com slash form of therapy. You get early access to videos like this and more, live stages, drama club, variety show reactions, reality show reactions, etc. However, supporting us monetarily is completely optional. If you don't want to or you can't, you don't have to. Uh, you know what? 
why not consider leaving a like down below, leave a comment if you want to, uh, go ahead, uh, you know, that's a free way to help us out and it helps us out with the YouTube search algorithm. Go ahead and hit subscribe, be notified when we upload a new video and go ahead and check out all our other videos over here.